Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening another box of Fusion Strike, but it's a little different. You can see here we have also a booster box of Chilling Rain. Um, we are going to do kind of a set versus set battle here. We'll be opening Fusion Strike along with Chilling Rain to kind of see which set uh, does better. I know a lot of people were com comparing the hits to Chilling Rain from Fusion Strike that you, know, you get less hits in the box or the hits were not, are not as good. Like when you get Chilling Rain, you get a lot of little Vs and V maxes, but no alt arts or the secret rares. Like you do in Evolving Skies. I believe in Evolving Skies, you get a lot of, uh, a lot of people like that set because you're like more likely to hit one of the rare cards like the full arts or the alt arts. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and compare these two. I know that sometimes it's not hard to compare because everything is different per box, but I guess in terms of this video, we're just going to take a look. Hey, let's what are, what are the pulls in this Fusion Strike booster box compared to the pulls in this booster box for Chilling Rain, and we will see just who comes out on top at least this go around. So I'll um, uh, be sure to uh, you know hit that like button uh, to see more for to to perform more videos like this. Uh, be also to subscribe to the channel uh, i have uh to, to see more kind of booster box openings or tin and elite trainer box openings on the channel all right without further ado, further ado let's go ahead and open these uh, booster boxes All right, I think um, oh, we have both booster boxes open. I think what we're going to do here is kind of do half of Fusion Strike and then half of Chilling Rain and then uh, compare each half. And then towards the end, we will do a overall review in terms of the pull rate and value per box. I know in terms of value right now, it's uh, Fusion Strike because it's a newer set. They are be retailing about 110, 120 for Fusion Strike, whereas Chilling Rain, you can find some booster boxes for them for under $100. So uh, right now, I believe uh, Chilling Rain is really good to, to pick up, especially with the value of the cards. And, uh, and a lot of people kind of, uh, with, with Fusion Strike coming out, there's a lot of actually good cards here uh, in terms of uh, for, for playing the game. Okay. But uh, let's go ahead and start opening these packs. Uh, we're gonna do things slightly different too. Uh, when we open these, uh, we're not gonna kind of look at them we're just kind of go breeze through these and look at the values in terms of what we pull so here's the first pack of chilling and we'll get and we'll get started chilling rain since there first and we got looks like we got a reverse hollow exped, uh, expedition uniform and a bonnet so far okay. so yeah what we're doing different here is we're just kind of breezing through each of these booster packs because I don't want to waste too much time. And just a reverse hollow cut and a wheezing. So just another hollow right there. No hit there. And reverse hollow and a cleric shadow rider clerics V. Nice. So I did remember in my previous videos I've pulled a uh, the alt art shadow rider so that was really cool so now I have the regular v max so that's exciting so so far one pretty good hit for chilling rain all right let's go ahead and breathe through these I like to uh, when I open cards nice Porygon Z and a Porygon 2 uh, I kind of like to separate uh, commons, uncommons, and rares and reverse hollows, uh, you know, to keep things organized. I think that's one of the best ways to do it. Nice, the Tornados VMAX. That's cool. All right. Let's 
Another VMAX card. So far, so good so far in terms of hits for Chilling Rain. Not too bad, not too bad. As we kind of zoom through these. All right. Yeah, and as I said again, uh, in terms of organizing, you kind of want to always try to keep your rares and reverse hollows from your reverse and your uncommons and commons. Uh, they usually kind of help you. Nice, a full art trainer. I've been lacking in getting full art trainer cards. And then finally getting one. KR, or so Clara, yep, Clara, full art. That's a beautiful card. Nice. Ooh, so far two VMAXs and a reverse or a full art trainer. Cool. I mean, so far Chilling Rain. This is my first, uh, I mean, I've opened Chilling Rain packs before, but this is my first uh, um, booster box for Chilling Rain. And I am very, very happy with what I've gotten so far. And this is just the First 16 packs. We got Crystal Gloves and Survivor. Again, uh, slightly different uh, as we're going through in total 72 booster packs uh, to 36 in each. Uh, we are basically just going to breeze. Nice, a Volcanion V. We are just going to breeze through each of these. That's cool. I'm actually very happy of, of opening Chilling Rain because I am missing a lot of cards from this set. As opposed to Fusion Strike where I've opened I think a couple of booster boxes already and kind of hit a lot of cards I was missing. I think I'm just at this point looking for uh, the high value cards. And then Reverse, reverse Hollows. Alright, Frostlass. All right, we're winding down on our first 16 of Chilling Rain. Here we go, and Volcarona and Gablade, or Gallade. And so far this first 16, I mean, hopefully it uh, keeps it going for the other 16 of Chilling Rain. So this first 16 has been really, really good. Impact Energy and Agron. So we've got three more here. And then after this, we will move on to Fusion Strike. And I'll kind of do some cleanup. Nice, a Cinderace. Do a little bit of cleanup here before we move on. But we'll also review what we've hit so far in terms of of these hits. Nice, a Celebi V Max. I think I don't have this one. I have a Celebi V from, from this set, but not the Celebi V Max. So that's cool. Got the Celebi V Max. Very happy about that. Now hoping to get the Celebi V from Fusion Strike, the Altar, but this, this is cool. All right, so far, this Chilling Rain box has been very, very good. Uh, I, safe to say that I did not get, uh, I guess, a, a bad box. So that's all the first 16 of Chilling Rain, and we can kind of look over what we've pulled. So out of those 16 packs, we've got one, two, three, four, five hits. So that's not bad, almost one out of three packs. We've got the Celebi VMAX, the Volcanion V, the Full Art Trainer, Clara, that's cool. Tornadus VMAX, and a Calyrex V, the Shadow Rider V. 
Oh, it's a V. I thought it was a V Max earlier when I was pulled it, but it's just the V. But still cool. All right. So those are the first five cards for Chilling Rain. Uh, kind of really want to stand there. I'll just probably just lay it right here. All right. I think with that, uh, we'll go ahead and get started on Fusion Strike. So I'll do some cleanup and then we can get started. All right. Now, with Cal uh, first pack of Chilling Rain out of the way, we'll go ahead and open the first half for a Fusion Strike. All right. First pack. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Now, for Fusion Strike, I've already pulled a lot of full arts, but no alt arts yet. Um, and the full arts have only been of the Pokemon, not of the uh, trainers. So, I'm hoping uh, to hit a full art trainer soon, because the full art trainers here are really cool. You got Chana, Alyssa Sparkle, and then uh, the three, or Shalon, the connoisseur with his brothers. It's, again, really hoping to get those. Toxtricity. So yeah. And again, any of the, the alt arts would be great, because I think the alt arts, uh, I think the alt arts here have been, is, is just as cool as what is involving skies. It's just, you know, the hits haven't been as good. For alligator, nice. And yeah, I'm missing for alligator from the set. So that's a good hit for me anyway, in terms of completing the uh, the set list for Fusion Strike. All right. And here we got Judge and Gudra. All right. So far, it's just a uh, regular, regular hit, but we will keep it going and see what we get here and just Shana. There's the reverse holo Shana and just a practice. All right. So far, I think uh, going into Chilling Rain, we got a hit pretty early on, whereas here. We didn't get too much, and Sizzlypeed and Electrode. So, just uh, just the regular stuff so far. Oh, oh black card, so hopefully something good. And we got an Ascender Ace V, nice. So we got one of these already, I think. I know there's two of these, so I can't remember which one we got. And hopefully it's the other one. But first, V card. V, V Max, or anything other than the regular Hollow Rares. Nice. First hit, Fusion Strike. Yeah, let's keep it going here. Oh, just a white background, so just a probably standard rare. My apologies in terms of how these packs are opening. And oh, Graph Black Rip and Aquario. Alright. We got Kangaskhan. All right, let's keep it going. So far, if anything, these uh, these packs have only been very just just okay. All right, Cook and Brazilian. I think we're halfway through a fusion strike and just the single hit so far. All right, we've got Steelix. Yeah, uh, I think 
it's kind of safe to say that Chilling Rain, or it's very close to safe to say that Chilling Rain may have taken the first half of of this uh, of this pack opening. And I say that as I get a Chandelure V. <laughs> nice. So we did get a another V card, Chandelure V. I do have the full art version of this, so getting the regular version actually is really good because I do not have the regular uh, version of the set for this, so that's good. Nice. So this was our second hit for Fusion Strike. And we're winding down on Fusion Strike. Just getting a version. Cursula, or Cursula. I think there has to be something good that's a hit, hit these like final five packs here. If uh, Fusion Strike is ever going to have a chance to catch Chilling Rain for the first half anyway, as uh, Chilling Rain had one, like two V Maxes, I think, right? Or one, one, one V Max, or no, two V Maxes. He had that Celebi and a Ternatus VMAX, and then for the, uh, and then a full art trainer card. Whereas these, this uh, first set just had the, um, just two Vs. And yeah, I think it might stay that way by the kind of looks at it in terms of how these are opening. And a Dodrio V. Cool. So we do have this already as well. I got one on my first box opening, I think, of Fusion Strike. But that's cool still. Third V card to the Drio V. And we got two more packs to open for Fusion Strike. To see what we get. All right, here we go, and Barracuda and Blissey. All right, last one, and it has to be a big one. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It's all about the end, but this first battle is definitely probably going to go to Chilling Rain. I mean, I don't, I can't see it unless something really cool hits, which is not it's just the Swampert and the Dreadnought. So most likely, these, this first round will go to Chilling Rain. Uh, okay, we're review <laughs> our three hits for Infusion Strike. The first sixteen, we got the Dodrio V, the Chandelure V and the Cinderace V. So we got three hits, three V cards of the first 16, as opposed to five here for Chilling Rain. So uh, out of the first 16, most likely Chilling Rain has taken, uh, taken it. But again, we have another set of booster packs from the box. Each box comes with 36, so we are, uh, uh, not 16, 18, well, it comes with 36 booster box. So overall, We'll see what we get, and uh, maybe Fusion Strike uh, can make a comeback. So we'll do some cleanup here, and then we will get started on the second part of Chilling Rain. All right, we'll go ahead and get these out, and we'll get started on this second part of Chilling Rain. We'll leave this box in here, we'll just put this box here. We'll move these up more. There we go. And then we will get started on our next set of Chilling Rain Packs. So, so far that first, uh, first uh, was 18 packs of uh, Chilling Rain have been like really good that I'm honestly not expecting too much from the from this next, uh, next half. Because it's just, it's it's almost 
like it's everything from pulled as I say that I get the Ice Rider V. Nice. So we have the Ice Rider Calyrex V. We pulled the Shadow Rider V. Now we have the Ice Rider V. So this is so cool to get both. Nice. So starting out good. Uh, right out of the gate for Chilling Rain. And we got a slow poke. So I'm hoping to get that, that Moltres. Good. And, and, and I want to get a secret rare too. I don't think I really have a secret rare from Chilling Rain. Um, I think I may actually, I'm actually thinking about it more. I may have a. So I do. Uh, on the side, I visit my local, uh, my local, uh, my local card shop. That's where I get actually a lot of my, my products. Um, support local business, <laughs> but um, uh, I do purchase singles uh, from time to time, especially if they're really good values. Uh, and I may have purchased the secret rare because uh, I saw that it was uh, just really a really good price. And that's like another way that I try to complete sets. I mean, pulling cards has always, always been great, but I'm all more so about being, you know, economical about trying to uh, complete the sets because trying to pull I mean, more power to again to the folks that kind of want to pull the cards to help complete their sets and things like that. But, uh, pulling is part of the fun. Uh, going out there and finding and trading cards with folks is also uh, really cool. Nice, the Sandaconda VMAX. That's cool. So that's the third VMAX card for Chilling Rain. So, so far out of... Uh... Cool. Out of Chilling Rain, we've gotten three VMAX cards. And out of Fusion Strike so far, we got none. I'm hoping we can kind of make that up. But yeah, uh, in terms of collecting, I love, I mean, who doesn't love a good booster box opening, elite trainer box opening and things like that. But again, it, for me, it's uh, goal is to complete, the end goal is to complete the set as, as close as possible. Um, I will say I will, I get I try to get a lot of the promos a lot of the first times when sets come out I always usually get booster boxes because um, again that's where a majority of the cards are going to come from uh, in, in terms of completing the set nice a Galarian Articuno Galarian Articuno V that's so cool. I am loving Chilling Rain right now. This is just um. I am, I had, again, this is my first, um, my first booster box for Chilling Rain, and I'm just loving all the hits. I, I just, like, I'm like, it's a lot of cards that I'm missing. Um, I'm already seeing, like, reverse hollows that I'm missing. It's, 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 it's been really great so far, at least in terms of my experience opening Chilling Rain. Greedent. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a Greedent V in Fusion Strike. But yeah, again, in terms of collecting, uh, I think uh, when, when when sets come out, the first... the Getting booster boxes, I think, is usually the first things you get. Nice. <laughs> first, uh, a Pissimian, Reverse Hollow, and the Rare. That's cool. And I believe I am missing the Rare for... For this set so getting the reverse hollow and the regular rare is really good but yeah uh, as i said before getting the booster boxes first when going through sets uh, is definitely easier to help complete a good majority of the base set and then uh, i honestly think getting singles after that uh, if you're wanting to still try to pull things is better as well as trying to get the uh, purchasing those uh, single cards um, is in terms of better value 
to to collecting if you're looking to collect the, you know the set now in terms of videos and stuff like that yeah everybody wants to see oh man that person pulled such a cool card pulled the art of uh, of certain things but at the same time uh, a lot of a lot of them can afford it um, I wish I can afford it I wish I can just open a whole bunch of boxes I can but uh, again pulling has been really cool but in terms of collecting um, getting the promo boxes or the promo packs and then buying like the single sleeves I think is, is the way to go after opening a couple of booster boxes because the booster boxes just helps complete you know getting all those commons and uncommons as we end for chilling rain on a blastic and V I believe this is the full art nice so I I there is I don't know what fusion strike can do on their last half of booster packs but the final pack for chilling ray is a full art blast it can be that is a nice card so just to recap as we some little clean up here for the last parts of Chilling Rain, we, you know, got a Blastigan V full art, and then a Galarian Articuno V, the San Naconda V Max, and then the Ice Rider Calyrex V. Only four hits compared to the five from the first, but in total, nine hits for the Chilling Rain pack, as you can see kind of over here. Uh, we'll go over it later. And uh, we got a full art trainer, as well as a full art V card. Classic and V, and then we had three uh, V Max cards. We had the Celebi V Max, the Tornados V Max, and the Sandaconda V Max. So all in all, I don't know what Fusion Strike can do with only three hits so far. So I think uh, we'll do some cleanup, and then we we'll get over and open that last half of a uh, Fusion Strike. All right. I rem hopefully made the, some more made some room. I'll go ahead and just kind of put these all together here for chilling rain. Put this here on the side as we get started on this second set of booster packs for Fusion Strike. Now, again, I don't know what else. Um, Fusion Trike can do to kind of make up. An alt art, I think, would help it, but even an alt art, I think, is going to be uh, difficult to kind of make up the ground that Chilling Rain has just. Chilling Rain, I it, right now. The opening that box is just, I loved it. I'm just gonna say it now. Uh, first booster box for that, as I've opened already a couple of Fusion Strike boxes, that in, in itself has been probably one of the best booster boxes I've ever opened. I've never pulled an alt art from a booster box. My all, any other alt arts I have, I have pulled have come from um, like promo packs or, or sleeves. So I guess if Fusion Strike wants to take try to win it here, getting an alt art from a booster box uh, would be really great. Got a lot of full arts, as you can see, you got the full art um, last it can be, and then from other um, box openings for Fusion Strike, I got a lot of the full art Pokemon, like the Chandelure and the Hoopa V, and then I got a full art Genesect V from the Elite Trainer box. So. It's not to say that I'm not getting hits from Fusion Strike, but in terms of this booster box, it's proving almost correct that you're gonna get one of, the, you're sometimes just gonna get those things where there's, it's just almost nothing, which is disappointing to say the least. Um, nice, Greninja V. I'm not, I do not have this one, so that's a good hit. Wow, he looks so cool. I love Greninja. He's such a cool Pokemon. <laughs> All right, first hit for a Fusion Strike. 
But again, um, just hoping this box doesn't turn out to be those ones you see, you know, on Reddit or online or on Twitter in posts. Um, as folks were opening Fusion Strike, that they weren't just they weren't getting anything. And right now, as we are going through the second half of Fusion Strike, um, yeah, they're just it's just okay. Like I, I, I'm loving car uh, opening the set. Don't get me wrong, because uh, I'm I'm hitting a lot of cards that I do not have. Um, as I'm like kind of constantly looking at each of the cards that I'm 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 opening, but again, the highlights are always pulling those uh, those B cards or those you know high value cards. And right now, it's nothing like this Fusion Strike box is. Just okay, and honestly, you you get those sometimes, which I'm glad. <laughs> with this video, you can see, even though despite being compared to Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain's gonna have those hits sometimes. And I think at the same time, uh, when you open Fusion Strike, you will get these as well. Nice. So the Bolton V Max, that is the Bolton V Max. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> just kind of shuffling through a whole bunch of cards here as I kind of get the two. Here. Cool. The Bolton V Max. Nice. That's so cool. Alright, our first V Max card. And that makes it five hits. So so far. Uh hit the minimum. I'm hoping, you know, for more. I believe a minimum of five should be what you get or you should get for each booster box. You should at least get five. Uh, getting five is obviously not great. Um, you want more. And then you also want the hits, uh, at least one of those hits out of that, you know, five to eight hits. Uh, one of them being a pretty good value, like a full art. Um, and in this case, hopefully an alt art. But as we're winding down on the Fusion Strike booster packs, we may, that may be our only hits, but again, never say never. As we get Luxray. Come on, just another VMAX card. Let's see, and we got a Mew V. Nice. Now, uh, I believe I pulled couple of these already. This would be my, my third one, but I am trying to probably make a deck out of the Mew V and Mew V Max. So we're just hoping to get the V Maxes. But nice, got a Mew V card. A whole bunch of Vs at a Fusion Strike so far. All right, and we got here Arcanine. I think we're down to our last three packs of Fusion Strike. And here we got the Mew V Max. Nice. All right, as I was talking about, how I have the view Mew V's and no Mew V Max. We got the Mew V Max. Wow, he's so cool. This Pokemon's so cool. Nice, our first V Max, or second V Max, I think. Yeah, but V Max nonetheless. All right, these last three packs, hopefully something good. So that was the third to last, there's the second to last, the next to last, and we get it. Just the Dragobolts. All right, last pack magic. We had last pack magic out of Chilling Rain, pulling the full art. Will this last pack be something? And we are getting... Oh, just a Latios. All right, so out of this Fusion Strike, or this last half, we got, nice, the Mew V Max. The Mew V, Bolton V Max, 
and the Greninja V. Nice. I will do some cleanup here and we can kind of review who won the showdown. All right, we opened both booster boxes and as we were going along, I think hands down, uh, we got, I think we got seven hits here um, for uh, Fusion Strike, which is not bad. You kind of want the seven hits. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as opposed to the nine we get from Chilling Rain. But the, also that in those nine hits included a full art trainer and a full art B card, as well as three V maxes. So I think it's kind of safe to say that Chilling Rain definitely won this booster pack battle. Um, uh, I think for, for Fusion Strike going over here, we got the Greninja V, we get, uh, get the Bolton V Max, another Mew V, a Mew V Max, a Cinderace V, the Chandelure V, as well as a Dodrio V. So even though those cards all good, nothing. These are all basically all standard uh, V Max and V cards you can get in the set. Now for Chilling Rain, we got the Ice Calor X V, we got the Ice Shadow Rider Calor X V, and then we got a Blastican V Full Art. That is so cool. And then a Tornadus V Max, the Galarian Articuno V, the Santa Conda V Max, a Full Art Clara. Again, so stoked to get that, as well as a Volcanian, a Volcanian V, and a Selby V Max. So three V Max cards, whole bunch of Vs, and we got the full arts here. So I think all in all, Chilling Rain definitely takes the cake as the winner of this booster pack, a uh, booster box battle. Uh, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment below in, in terms of how the polls went. Uh, I know it is slightly disappointing in terms of the Fusion Strikes poll, but I am happy I was missing a lot of those cards. Um, and we still got a, good, a decent amount of hits, so th that was really good. But again, this Chilling Rain box was very, very good. I loved it. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts. Leave comments below. Uh, let me know what other sets you kind of want to see out there. Uh, Confusion Strike, uh, Fusion Strike compared to like Evolving Skies or any other of the past booster box sets. I'll try to get my hands on those and try to do a kind of box versus box battle. Uh, again, thanks everyone for watching the video. Uh, good luck on your pulls out there. And uh, yeah, see ya.